What's up everyone? I'm going to be discussing the imaginary unit equation. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to be solving it today. Now, what the imaginary unit equation is, is this. It's j squared equals negative 1. That's the imaginary unit equation. And the reason it's so famous is because it's absolutely unsolvable in the regular number system. That is, with negative numbers, positive numbers, and 0, there is no answer to this equation. No, no number squared equals negative 1. Okay, but I have an answer. The answer is, is negative positive 1 squared equals negative 1. Now, obviously, first question is, what is negative positive 1? That is a numeral in a set of numeration that I have invented called paradox numeration. And in that system, each individual numeral is simultaneously negative and positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they are all simultaneously negative and positive. Now, the, f the first reaction is obviously, well, that's impossible. And my response to that is always, well, it's no more impossible than uh, negative numbers. Negative numbers are impossible in reality. You can't, you can't have negative two apples or negative five children or negative ten vehicles. We only use negative as a, a concept. Like uh, you have negative twenty dollars in your bank account or if I owe you money then it's said that I'm negative that X amount of money. I don't literally have a, a negative whatever that number is. That's impossible. You can't have negative of something that doesn't exist. It's, it's only to show that, hey, hey uh, you owe this much, so it's equivalent to saying since you owe this money, you're in the negative. Again, it's a concept. Okay, but now what about negative positive one? How can we use that? Well, in average everyday life, it wouldn't make no sense because things are either here or they're there, period. Okay, but there's a thing called quantum mechanics, as many as you, uh, many of you may know. And with these uh, uh, subatomic particles, for example, electrons, sometimes, or not sometimes, a single electron can simultaneously be in more than one place. One single electron can be simultaneously in more than one place. That's part of quantum mechanics. It doesn't make sense in our uh, general understanding of physics, but it happens. Okay, the question is, if, if one, say, one electron is in multiple states at, at simultaneously at the same time, simultaneously at the same time, I know that doesn't make sense, um, how do you represent that mathematically? Okay. Can, it's, it's one electron, so you say, well, okay, well, it's, it's one, right? Well, no, that's not exactly correct, because it's in multiple states. You're like, okay, well, then it's, you know, two or more. It's two, three, or four. Well, no, that's not exactly true, because it's not two or three or four. It's only one electron. So, how can you, again, mathematically, how can you represent one entity that is simultaneously in more than one place? That's what brings us to negative positive one. Negative positive one, it's one entity, say as an electron, but it's simultaneously in two or more places. It's, uh, you know, uh, in this case, it would be on two sides of the, uh, the mathematical spectrum. But that is the only way to accurately represent it because otherwise, again, it's not just one, it's not just two or three, it's Literally, it's one thing, but again, in two or more places. It's a, in a quantum mechanical state that's, again, not describable uh, in our standard mathematics. And now, we have that. Now, we can, going back to the uh, imaginary unit, we can solve the imaginary unit equation. Uh, negative, positive... 1 squared equals negative 1. Because uh, since it's simultaneously negative and positive, when you square it, when you multiply it by itself, uh, you're multiplying a negative by a positive, and when you mu multiply a negative by a positive, 
it's always a negative, and so negative 1. Negative positive 1 squared would equal negative 1. And there we go. We have an answer. Uh, not, not only did I uh, invent a new system of numeration, but I was able to solve this otherwise solve a problem. The imaginary unit equation has been solved.